A pre-ferment also known as bread starter is a fermentation starter used in indirect methods of bread making. It may also be called mother dough. A pre-ferment and a longer fermentation in the bread making process have several benefits. There is more time for yeast, enzyme and if sourdough, bacterial actions on the starch and proteins in the dough. This in turn improves the keeping time of the baked bread and it creates greater complexities of flavor. Though pre-ferments have declined in popularity as direct additions of yeast in bread recipes have streamlined the process on a commercial level, pre-ferments of various forms are widely used in artisanal bread recipes and formulas. Classifications In general, there are two pre-ferment varieties, sponges, based on baker's yeast, and the starters of sourdough, based on wild yeasts and lactic acid bacteria. There are several kinds of pre-ferment commonly named and used in bread baking. They all fall on a varying process and time spectrum, from a mature mother dough of many generations of age to a first-generation sponge based on a fresh batch of baker's yeast. Biga and Polish or Polish are terms used in Italian and French baking, respectively, for sponges made with domestic baker's yeast. Polish is a fairly wet sponge typically one to one. this is, made with a one part flour to one part water ratio by weight, whereas biga is usually drier. Bigas can be held longer at their peak than wetter sponges, while a Polish is one known technique to increase a dough's extensibility. Old dough may be made with yeast or sourdough cultures, and in essence consists of a piece of dough reserved from a previous batch, with more flour and water added to feed the remaining flora. Because this is a piece of old dough, it has the typical ingredient of salt to distinguish it from other pre-ferments. Once old dough had rested for an additional 10 hours of age, the French named it levain de chef. Sourdough starter is likely the oldest, being reliant on organisms present in the grain and local environment. In general, these starters have fairly complex microbiological makeups, the most notable including wild yeasts, lactobacillus, and acetobacteria. They are often maintained over long periods of time. The Boudin Bakery in San Francisco for example, has used the same starter dough for over 150 years. A roughly synonymous term in French baking is levain. Mother dough often refers to a sourdough, and in this context the term starter often refers to all or a piece of mother dough, however, mother dough may also refer to a first-generation yeast sponge, so the process used in relation to the ingredients and fermentation times is important to understanding yeast versus sourdough methods. A roughly synonymous term used in French baking is chef. History The common, but undocumented, origin given for the term Polish is that it was first used by Polish bakers around 1840, hence its name, and as a method was brought to France in the beginning of the 1920s. Polish, however is an Old English version of Polish, whereas the term seems to be most used in France where Polonais is the word for Polish. Some 19th century sources use the homophone Polish, a French word that typically means a female foal. With either spelling, the term only appears in French sources towards the last part of the 19th century. There is not currently any credible explanation for the origin of the term. Use A pre-ferment is easy to make and usually consists of a simple mixture of wheat flour, water, and a leavening agent typically yeast. Two schools of thought exist regarding the inclusion of salt or sugar. They both act to inhibit or slow yeast growth, as determined by time to proof or rise, so they are not usually included and instead are added to the final dough. Ultimately, the amounts of each ingredient, and when they are added, depend on pre-ferment and final dough formulas. In some countries mainly Eastern Europe, Baltic and Nordic countries rye flour is also used to make a starter. Traditional Finnish rye starter consists of only rye flour and water, no sugar or yeast. Some might also use yogurt to fasten the starter to rise. When expressed as a baker's percentage, 50 parts of flour added to 50 parts of water or 1 to 1 is 100% hydration, and results in a relatively fluid pre-ferment. Stiffer doughs such as 50% hydration or 2 to 1, may also be used. 
After mixing it is allowed to ferment for a period of time, and then is added to the final dough as a substitute for or in addition to more yeast. There are distinctly different brew types of pre-ferments designed for computer-controlled bakeries that use a rather different series of ingredients, including oxidizers, needed for continuous dough production processes. Fermentation is sometimes performed in a warm place, or a humidity and temperature-controlled environment. Cooler than room or refrigeration temperatures decelerate growth and increase the time interval, while slightly warmer temperatures accelerate growth and decrease the time interval. Too warm of a temperature slows growth, while even higher temperatures will kill the yeast. Death of the yeast cells occur in the range of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. When cooling a levain or sourdough pre-ferment, if the dough temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it affects the culture and leads to the loss of a particular aroma in the baked bread. To allow room for the pre-ferment to rise, the ingredients are mixed in a container at least four or five times their volume. This is about the point in time when some process similarities of yeast pre-ferments to sourdough or levain starters begins to diverge. The typical amounts of time allotted for the yeast pre-ferment period may range from 2 to 16 hours, depending on the dough's temperature and the added amount of viable yeast, often expressed as a baker's percentage. Spontaneous sourdough starters take, at a minimum, several days, and are subject to many variables. To make a sourdough starter from scratch, the minimum needed ingredients are flour, water, and time. This starter is maintained with daily feedings or refreshments of fresh flour and water or, new dough. It ferments at room temperature until the desired age or minimal number of refreshments, following a refreshment schedule that may include acceleration of time intervals leading into the final dough, then is added to the final dough. When maintaining a starter's existing weight, it is advised to discard 60% or more of the starter, replacing that discarded dough with new dough. If an increased amount of starter is required, simply add new dough. 40 parts to 60 parts of old dough to new dough by weight, or 2 to 3, is known as the back slopping ratio, and changes to that ratio change the pH of the just refreshed dough. To make a primary culture levain, Raymond Calville used salt, but less of it than would be typical for many final dough formulas. See also Proofing baking technique Straight dough equals equals notes.